All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome um, to another wonderful um, month of uh, May. Okay, let's see what is going to be coming up for May. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Um, May has um, sometimes it's four weeks, sometimes it's five weeks. So okay um whenever it's 31 days it's always five weeks most of the times when it's 31 days it's always five weeks okay so we're going to be going out of uh, the four week scenario for the month i remember someone called me and said but it runs only up four weeks. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's see what's coming up for the month. All right, angels and guides, pure light beams. <sighs> All right, what's coming out? All right, so we see you're dealing with uh, inner strength, okay? okay. There it is. Oh, you're dealing um, with inner strength. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are dealing with um, inner strength. Um, a lot of you are standing your grounds. A lot of you are finding inner strength within you to deal with whatever issues and problems that is coming up. So this energy of strength is always about you trying to go within to find some sort of an inner peace, some sort of a, a way to um, preserve your spirit uh, by protecting your spirit from whatever is happening and coming up around you. And this is uh, um, the energy of the inner strength that is coming up uh, that you need to understand uh, um, that there is so much that is going on around you and you have to guard your energy um by really holding up and guarding your energies okay so this is a fire energy in the first week let's see what's coming out in the sex uh, second week we have the energy of the lover this is wonderful this is positive the energy of the lover is really a peaceful sign of some sort of a peaceful beginning situation where you have to deal with another person your husband, your wife, your child, your parents, okay? This is really a peaceful energy when it comes up. It is a water energy. It's all about the emotion, but it's very, very peaceful. Um, and it's in the second week, okay? So we have strength. Um, we have water, the energy of the lover. Family issues could be coming up. Uh, contracts issues. Wow, justice prevail. Yeah, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I think that this is um, one of my favorite cards, and I don't know. <laughs> um, because justice is about divine justice. It's about bringing unbalanced situation together and dealing with uh, um, whatever that is happening and transpiring around you. So this strength is about, uh, and the first week is about standing up, standing up, finding the inner strength to stand up and protect uh, um, your family, protect, uh, um, you know, people around you, protect uh, um, the unjust cause, what people have done to you and stand up. So you find the inner strength to really stand up and push through whatever that was going on in order to um, balance out a situation. And I see that justice is going to be prevailing. There is no question about it. Um, this is about uh, divine justice. This is about uh, balancing the karmas out and risk and being responsible, balancing the karmas out. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely good. Wow, I do love this. So then the last energy is a cycle is now over. And um, this is a wonderful situation because it's as if justice came in and end the situation. They said no more, no more. This is not going to be going on anymore. It's about time that this situation be cleared up. 
um, whatever that was going on. It's about clearing up a situation, bringing back balance to a situation and recognizing um, what was going on around you. So this is going to be an absolutely, absolutely fantastic month. Okay, there is no question around about this. This is going to be such a positive, positive month because um, finally a situation, problems that was there is finally now being resolved. Justice is coming in and making a point to resolve some sort of an unconventional situation that was there and that was affecting a whole lot of people. So this is um, Divine Justice. It's the month energy. So expect... Um, some sort of unresolved situation to be resolved in this month. Okay. So we have fire. We start the month with fire. We have water. We have hair and we have hurt. So it's a really balanced out month. Um, ladies and gentlemen, May is going to be an extremely, extremely balanced out month because we have all four elements. So, um, for the Aries, Leo, Sagittarian people, the first week is going to be a bit tragedy, a bit, um, it's going to be your, your, your best week for the fire sign people, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarian, and Ophios. The second week is for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. Third week is for the Aries, Leo, and Gemini. Uh, no, no, Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra. <laughs> And the last week is for the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn people, okay? So, again, fire, you're in the first week. Second week, water. Third week, air. And the last week, uh, it's going to be the world. All right, let's see. What is coming up in uh, the first week? You're dealing with a really deceptive situation. A really, really deceptive situation. Whatever is happening, um, you're trying to fight with... Um, um, this 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 devil energy, okay? And we're going to be looking at who is this devil energy? What is this devil energy? Because a lot of you are trying to fight with a negative. Some people who are very, 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 very negative, a very, very dishonest uh, group of people. Some of you could be dealing with, uh, and uh, some sort of a secrecy is now out about this dishonest group of people and what they have done. So you stood your ground um, against. Uh, um, some sort of an unfair situation that was happening and now the truth is coming out because you stood up against a really negative um, plane that was going on and the truth is going to be coming out because you see the energy of the high priestess that is going to be bringing out the truth okay and this is a um, really really um, good then when we look at the second week of the lovers, I see some sort of a judgment call is here for the lovers, whatever that was happening and transpiring. Um, some of you could be having problems with your wife, husband, because a third party tried to interrupt and intrude in your relationship. So there was a situation where some of you could find out of a third party um, that tried to create a whole lot of issue or someone send you negative energy in, um, to cause you and your partner some sort of a problem or dismayal in your relationship or in the flow to, of the relationship in the family. So be aware of that. Um, in the second week of, and the truth came out. Okay. The truth came out. So, um, it's a situation where, um, secrecy is now out. There was, there was a orb, orb, uh, network or group of people that was holding some sort of a secrecy and the secrecy is now out and people are now, um, being called up and being, um, have to pay for their karmas because whatever the secrets uh, that these and the group and these network of people were holding, um, it is now out. Okay. And it is a situation where some of you, your partner, your husband, your wife, your family, they, people were having, um, people were affecting them, um, by, um, creating a whole lot of, uh, um, dishonest play around them. And you're going to be finding out this as if, um, your kids, uh, uh, your kids, your mother, uh, your father, they, people could be stealing from your mother, your mother and your father. Um, that is sort of an energy. So information is going to be coming out. Some sort of a judgment call, um, is definitely going to be coming out and it has to do with your family. Okay. 
then we see the energy of the moon okay the energy of the moon is coming um in the third week the third week a whole lot of information is going to be out uh, i i see they're going to be recognizing um the energy of negative foul play um that was transpiring so this could be something in, in government um in um could be happening that is coming out some sort of a, a government secret some sort of a secrecy that people in our authority at cap it is now coming out and i see justice is coming down on everyone it's as if uh, this divine justice and i remember when it came out i said divine justice yes it's going to be divine justice that is going to be coming down um on uh, information that was kept um from uh, the public okay and it is coming down i see some sort of a balance is going to be coming in now um because they now recognize uh, that people were um really using their powers and their own agendas in order to um create instability imbalance in um situation and now the truth is going to be coming out and people are going to be really recognizing uh, what exactly what's happening okay so um it's as if some of you got two parties uh, news and now the news is going to be coming out for everyone to be aware of what is happening in the last week a cycle is going to be over um with a um a, that's what i said with people empower someone who is in authority um a cycle could be over um with the issues and problems with people in authority that was going on um a cycle is over for some of you who were dealing with some sort of an unconventional issue where someone used their powers over you um, whoever this person is, I see that this person was raining on your parade because uh, the energy of uh, the devil is about raining on someone else's par parade, keeping someone else under, um, under control. And I see a uh, holding a lot of secrets and there's a judgment call. All the secrets comes out. And now people are now recognizing um, the foul play um, that people had used their powers in the wrong way and was creating some sort of a foul play and holding back on things. And I see a tower moment is here um, for whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring. Um, the person that was using their powers against you, a tower moment is here for, for this person. And um, this person is going down, okay? So it could have been people in uh, power or people who have used their powers against a lot of you. A huge, huge tower moment is coming down on this person. Um, whoever this person is, is coming up as an Arterian um, figure. That means people who have the power of, uh, um, yeah, the power to, um, you know, access and do things. And a cycle is now over on this person. And a tower moment is here for this person. Whoever this person is, um, people are now recognizing the horrible, horrible play that this person has done and has been controlling a situation for a very, very long time. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is no question about what is happening, what is transpiring. I was there and I was thinking, and this is really coming up as some sort of a um, situation where people in power was using their um, powers to control a situation. And as if... Um, it's, it's as, as, as if it's like, no, it's not going to be happening. Okay. It's as if no, no, it's, it's, it's just not going to be happening. Um, whatever that people in power were doing and trying to control a group of people or control you, um, whoever is listening to this reading is as if no, it's no longer going to be happening they're now recognizing that there was some sort of a um manipulating situation um some sort of a controlling manipulating situation that was going on and it's as if it has to do with uh, authoritarian people people who have authority over others 
and was using it in the wrong way. Okay. All right. Let's look deeper in this month. So you come up with the energy of strength in the first week. And you're dealing with some sort of a negative group of people. Um, these people are really, they work from out the animal instinct. Okay. And there's good animal and there's bad animal. And they work from out the animal instinct. Okay. And they had a lot of secrets. It was a group of people who were trying um, to get things their way. And they hold a lot of secrets. Okay. And whatever the secrets that they hold, people are now going to be recognizing that these people were controlling the situation for a very, very long time. And it's as if the month of May is where the universe step in and it says, no, no more. This is coming to an end. And it is showing up all the people and all the situation that was happening and transpiring. And it's as if the universe is saying, it is time um, that the situation ends and clarity comes in. And what we see is that a balance is going to be coming in in the first week because there is judgment call. There is a lot of judgment call. We see the energy of strength and the devil and uh, um, the eye princess is coming out to give out some sort of a information to said, you know, these people, whoever these people are, was creating issues. And uh, um, you got to hold on. Whatever is happening, hold on. Hold your ground. Stand your ground. Because whoever these people in this situation is, you are going to be overcoming it. Okay, so really stand your ground and uh, recognize and show up because it's going to be coming out what these people, what games these people were playing. And then judgment is coming in. So this judgment is about, um, it's going to be affecting people in relationship and it's going to be affecting contracts, some sort of a contracts and people in relationships. It's going to be, um, affecting partnerships that there was some sort of, uh, a fine print or people had created, uh, um, some sort of, a false, uh, um, contract and that sort of a thing. And they're going to be recognizing this. A judgment call is coming in and this judgment call is coming in to show up that there was some sort of a false, uh, dishonest uh, um, a situation that was transpiring and a balance is going to be coming in. Okay, because it's as if some of you are going to be standing your ground and speaking up for what was happening and what was transpiring. Then when we look at the second week, we have the energy of the lovers, water week. This is going to be a week. The second week is going to be a week for the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. Now they're going to be recognizing something about a Cancer. They're going to be recognizing um, Cancers. You got to be aware because some of you Cancers could have done something and a huge tower moment is going to be coming down. It's affecting the cancers in the second week. So cancers, go check out your monthly readings because something that has happened and transpired, I see a huge tower moment is going to be coming down um, because they recognize the secrets um, that some of you cancers were um, were dealing with. And you can see that that is going to be coming down. And I see a judgment call is going to be coming down um, for you and your husband. If you're married or if you're in a long term relationship, 10 years and older, I see some sort of a judgment call where some sort of an information is going to be coming in about what was happening and transpiring. OK, so be aware of this. Um, so cancers, you're going to be feeling it. Something is going to be coming up where a, a, a rapid shift for you cancers in um, the second week. Okay. And we're dealing with your, your energy of the moon. Okay. For the rest of you, I see secrets are coming out in the second week. Um, a lot of people are going to be recognizing that there was a group of people that was uh, using their powers in the wrong way. And I see, um, judgment and light is shed. So when the energy of judgment comes up, because it is going to be, um, the most important thing is about judgment over the secrets that was kept. That is the energy of the month. Judgment over the secrecy that was kept. And that is what is going to be the energy of the month. And uh, what is happening in the second week is that 
um, they're going to be recognizing that a couple and recognize who is a couple and what a couple have done. They are now going to be finding out who is a couple and what a couple have done. OK, some of you could be finding out something about your partner um, that your partner have cheated. Some of you are going to be finding out um, that your children, there is some sort of a problem that your children weren't telling you um, issues and that your children was having, whether in their marriage or whether at school or whether in their study, their career um, at college, you know, that sort of a thing is going to be coming out and you're going to be trying to help um, your kids or your family member. In the third week, yay, yay, yay. Third week, the week is for um, the Aquarian, Gemini, and Librans, and information, information, things that you, Aquarian, Gemini, and Libran, didn't know is coming out, and it's about people in authority. It's about the energy of uh, the um, Aerophant, whether this Aerophant is, uh, it's about the energy of the Emperor. And the Emperor is a father figure for some of you. The Emperor is a husband. Okay, so obviously a whole lot of you who are married are going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy that your husband was keeping. And it's about your boss and it's about uh, um, people in government, institution, organization. And I see justice came down on someone who have used their powers in the wrong way. Their secrets has come out and a judgment call came up. Justice is on to this person because they recognize the unfair game of what this person have done. So, you know, congratulations. Whoever this person is needs to be caught because this person has been creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues for people, misguiding people, and now the truth comes out. Justice is here and is standing um, their grounds. They recognize that there was a whole lot of secret and foul play that was transpiring. Foul play and secrecy is where people were trying to control a situation because they wanted the outcomes to be different. And uh, this is what was happening and transpiring. And I see divine justice is going to be coming in. This month is about divine justice. It's the month of May. It's always about divine justice is going to be coming in in order to bring an orb or a situation that has been going on for a very, very long time to an end because they recognize uh, that there was some sort of undesirable um, situation that was playing out and there was divine justice that was created where karma needs to be paid and uh, the depths need to be paid off and you need to recognize this and let it go. All right. Then um, we look at the last week. So some of you, your boss could be fired um, in this month, the third week or so, or someone, your husband, or someone who were using their powers. Justice could be coming down if you are in um, relationships that is on LT. I see um, the police could be coming in to take this person away, that sort of a thing. All right, let's uh, go and look at the last week. I love the last week. The last week is for the Taurus Virgo and Taurus Virgo and Capricorn people. And this is good because the energy of uh, the world is here and people recognize what was happening. So people recognize the truth. Um, they recognize that there was a whole lot of secrets that was kept by people in authority and um, it's coming to an end. It's really coming to an end. It is a situation where a group of people in authority was playing some sort of a game. Okay. A group of people in authority was playing some sort of a game. And, uh, um, you know, they recognize the lies and deceptiveness of these people and how these people try to formulate uh, and create problems because they wanted things to work out in no man has the power, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a situation where, um, you know, whoever this person is uh, was using their powers to control a situation and it's not happening. It's not happening because the energy of the devil, some sort of an unfair game that was played is going to be coming out in the second week. Uh, 
in the first week and the second week and in the third week justice is coming out because the secrets that a corporation institution was keeping is now going to be out because they're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of a corporation institution and recognizing that this corporation institution has been a very 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 dishonest and has been creating a lot of issues for a very very long time and they're going to be recognizing the foul play of uh, um, this corporation institution and how they have gotten away with a whole lot of uh, a situation a whole lot of things that they have gotten away with okay all right let's look deeper in this reading before we move forward so i see fire sign people and please ladies and gentlemen I don't um, pull these things, okay? Fire sign people, you are going to be having some sort of an issue in the first week. I see your secrets could be coming out. So fire sign people, be aware of this. First week, your secrets could be coming out. So, all right. Then in the second week, yes, we're dealing with the Pisces and um, the Pisces and the Scorpion. And the Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. Oh my God, you all laid up in this month. Oh my God. So yes, so we have the the Cancer, um, the uh, Scorpion, and the Pisces, um, in this month, in in the in the second week. Okay, as I said, in the third week we're looking at uh, the Libran, um. And uh, Librans, your secrets could be coming out. Um, yeah, a Libran secrets is now out. So in the third week, Librans, um, the, the Librans are going to be having a whole lot of a uh, situation coming up in the third week. Librans and Cancer and Virgo. Librans, Cancer and Virgo is going to be having issues in the third week. Um, in the fourth week, we have uh, the um, the Capricorns, the Aries, a tower moment. Is here for um, Aries and uh, business people who have been lying and having a um, legal issue. Justice is going to be coming down on um, these people. Okay, so um, bosses, uh, people who use their powers uh, in the wrong way. Justice is going to be coming down on you guys. Uh, and here it is coming up. Okay. So the energy of the month is um, judgment, uh, secrecy is coming out. All right, so let's see. So we have instinct, yeah, instinct, okay? We have instinct, and instinct is about uh, the energy of strength. Uh, use your instinct, okay? Don't let, uh, use your instinct, your intuition, whatever you call it. What you feel, use that, okay? Use your instinct. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, use your instinct. Don't let people um, um, try to fool you in any way. You think for yourself, okay? It's about time that everyone start to wake up and think for themselves. So it is an advisable um, situation um, for the first week, and the energy of the month is the think for yourself okay because some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming out um i got these two new decks and i decide to use them then we have the energy of nine okay the energy of nine and it is bringing i hope you guys can see this it's bringing a cycle to an end okay so nine is always ending and whatever that was going on and is transpiring, this ending is coming up because a ending need to be with a situation where there were un unfair games that was playing, unfair matters um, where people were um, chastising, um, that people were having some sort of a toxic behavior, toxic situation going on. And it's as if divine justice is coming in to remove this toxicity and create a better positive way for humanity moving forward because this is a general reading and there it is they're bringing something to an end then we see guilt guilt because the energy of the devil guilt the energy of the devil is showing some sort of a guilt okay guilt um 
and guilt is coming up by people in power guilt is coming up for cancer um guilt for a scorpion guilt for an aries okay guilt and what is coming in with guilt i see shame i see shame and guilt okay so we have these two energies in the second week shame and guilt and the shame is for the aries um the scorpions um the cancers and people in authority people who have used their authority in a wrong way um and, and, and this is about guilt and shame um being guilty for something that you have done and shameful that you have done this thing so it's all about guilt and shame in this month where a lot of people are going to be facing their worst um uh, demons because of what they have done uh, these secrets are now going to be coming out and people are now going to be recognizing um, what people because right beside the devil is guilt and shame is uh, beside the the, uh, the person that used their powers in the wrong way. So it is guilt and shame. There's a lot of guilt and shame. And, um, you know, whoever this Aries is, is very guilty of what they have done. And I see, you know, uh, the guilt is also for the scorpions. And now the energy of the moon, um, the energy of the moon is showing up um, what our tearing uh, people in authority has done. All right. So I see gratitude. A lot of you are going to be so happy, so grateful that a situation has finally come out. So, um, you know, thank God to the universe. Some of you had really, really gone through horrible situation where people were keeping secrets and controlling a situation. And I see gratitude. So this is a month where we are going to be thinking about gratitudes and who are the people. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Look at it, ladies and gentlemen. It is both side of the fence, gratitude, and this is about a tower moment is releasing and something is going to be freed. Wow. So a lot of you, uh, gratitude is coming up for the Pisces, um, Pisces and Scorpion. Gratitude is coming up. Pisces and Scorpion are going to be freed from a situation. Okay. And who is going to be freed also is the Virgos um virgos um uh, and uh the virgos is going to be free see the tower moment is about affecting everyone and the tower moment is going to be affect virgos and it's going to be affecting people in cooperation institution that has used their, their powers in the wrong way and these people are going to be affected by it okay so um here we are here we are um seeing what is transpiring so um be aware of that so um the tower moment is going to be freeing something something needs to be freed um that was under control for too long and i see that the pisces and the scorpion should be grateful for what is about to, to release okay because it is going to be helping them wow so i love these two decks um, my original decks for them is in uh, in the states, so I bought these little um these little ones. Um, so it is um it is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. And um, you know the thing about it is that whoever these group of people are and whatever that was transpiring, it's about time that um freedom. Okay, you're going to be freed. Freed from whatever problem, freed from the situation that uh, um, people have caused you, um, you know, being freed from this horrible, um, disturbing uh, situation that was created and say thank you. Thank you and be grateful. Okay. Listen to your own instinct and uh, um, the guilt. A lot of people are going to be guilty. But who is going to be guilty is the one who knows that they have been carrying out and, and, you know, it is going to be affecting Sagittarians and Aries. Sagittarians and Aries, Leo. Um, uh, um, moment where the Leos are coming up where, um, it is going to be heavy, heavy energy for fire sign people because their secrets are coming out. So, 
Pisces and Scorpion, be happy and be grateful. It's going to be a grateful month for um, the um, Pisces and uh, Scorpion. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do love you. Remember to thumbs up, share, share, share these videos. It is going to be absolutely fabulous. Fab, fab, fabulous. Okay. Um, it may, it's always a really, really positive month. I do love you guys. I gotta go. I'm saying namaste until next time.